get a pack of butter. You're not going to eat all this, by the way. Uh, get in there, girl. Whole I'm handful. I'm taking my... Whole handful. Right? That's is it. it. Uh, uh, where am I now, now, create, like, over the breast, right? Oh. So what I like to do is this fat... As much as this? Yes, yes. So Why what do we're... some people put it under the skin? You can this do it weird. under the skin. That's better on roast chickens. But for turkey, what's really nice, guys, is really generously uh, rub the turkey with fat, OK? Uh, is that pressure OK? That pressures beautifully. <laughs> uh, Phil, if you can get the sage, and once she's done well. that, what ba we can do ba -da -ba -da is now you've done... That's it. Give it a nice little softly... That's it. This <laughs> protects the turkey. And the wings. Um, the journey of that butter and the natural fat will just make the meat ju juicy and moist on, on the cooking process. And then halfway, twice through the cooking, take the fat from the tray and just give it a basting. How's a really that? good basting. That's brilliant. Now, what I like to do... Phil, have a look at this. There's some here. Right? Take some herbs, woody herbs, right? Things like thyme. Do a stained glass kind of finish, Got right? Got some sage this, here. This will basically cook into the skin, but it will flavour the butter that flavours the fat, which flavours the turkey, which you baste on top. So it's a kind of virtuous cycle. Now, if you look at the cooked one here, can you see how it's almost cooked into the skin? Yeah. Right? So that's very, very nice. And then we go back to the raw one. So we can use things like sage, thyme. You can put a little nutmeg on there. Go and have a little nutmeg grate up. Are you, are you good on that? Yeah, I can do um, that. Grab yourself Where's a little, grater? little grater over there. Nice job. Oh, yeah. So we've got a trivet. We've guaranteed gravy by having lovely uh, giblets and that's veg. That's a work of we've art, rubbed Jamie. The, the turkey, we've gone... If you look at the legs here, you can see it's a bronze turkey. Nice Kelly bronze there. It's free range, organic. It's a time of the year to trade up. Um, those higher welfare birds have more fat intramuscularly, mm -hmm. which means they cook slightly quicker and they're more juicy. So that's that very nice. Nutmeg? That's perfect. You can do this the day before. Now, because uh, our lovely Holly mm. um, gave it such a good massaging, mm. we don't want to season meat before the cooking, but because the butter is a layer between it, right, ah. we can season it and we get that in the garage or we can get that in the fridge and we can get that onto the tray. Just take the paper, darling. Uh, and that will guarantee you the most fabulous... And it's all right that it's all turkey. spilling over the edge. That's a good size yeah, tray for that. It's going to shrink a little bit. You could go bigger, but we ran out of budget and we got smaller trays. <laughs> but that's so, OK, because not because sometimes you haven't got an oven big enough, so no, this will fit in an oven. It, and it will shrink a little bit in the cooking, but based in flavour... Oh, the other thing, right? What is more Christmassy? Then clementine. Yeah. A little tip. I put it in the microwave just for one minute, just before it goes in the oven. And then if you can ram that right in there. Oh, right, just put my rings on. Okay, we're going to go clementine in the side of the oh, turkey. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's the flavour of turkey. And some herbs. It's like... Uh, don't be shy, darling. No, I won't. Um, and then the only other thing that we didn't do was stuff it, but you can use your imagination. We get the stuffing and we go under here. Oh, let's just do it. So herbs in this well, you're end, going in that stuffing way. Yes. up that So I, I, what I do, guys, is a two-tone stuffing. Go to the neck, which is this part, right? We'll take half of the stuffing and that will flavour the meat and the meat will flavour it, right? And that's beautiful. Do not put it into the cavity here because that will slow down the cooking process and you want it to be cooked and you don't oh, want any food poisoning. What okay. I do do is is double pleasure. So I'll take this bowl. I will basically get that crispy. Yes. So crispy stuffing, moist stuffing, uh, and this kisses it and loves it, and it will also give you wonderful flavouring uh, gravy. How long are you going to cook that for? This will be about three and a half hours, but it's basically 25 to 30 minutes per kilo. If you want to get the uh, cooking quantities for any of your meats, go to your website and I'll we'll put, put a put super link in there. Do you foil it up? Uh, you can do, but I just leave it like that. You can foil it, or you can foil just the legs up. More basting? Uh, baste it twice through the cooking process. Okay. I mean, look, I mean, how did you get it that colour? That's, That's just, every time it turns out like that. How do you, and, and what's the best way to... Um, because loads of people have asked the best way to carve. So you're, put, so you're going to cut the whole breast off, are you? So, look, the, the old-fashioned style is at the table. You can put it on a nice platter yeah. and you can just carve it like this. Yeah. Right, which is beautiful, right? And it's kind of... You've got all the glamour and it's quite nice. Um, and that's the way that I was brought up doing it, mm. mm -hmm. which is lovely. But let me show you the kind of the disruptive way, which is very, very beautiful. So that's the old-fashioned way. Mm -hmm. right, what you can do, back in the kitchen... This is what I do, even with a roast chicken, because because this is what you do. Yeah. So Take on a roast the whole chicken breast on a Sunday, I do this. Right, and you can just lobe that off, right? And then once you've got that off, you can just slice it up, and it's so... Mind your little your pinky there, uh, Phil. There you go, darling. And, and we'll just whip that off. And it's the and great... look at that, you've got the whole chunk. Well, you can see how juicy that is, but then when you take it to a board here, what it allows you to do maybe as a novice cook, possibly, if you've got that pressure, you can then just slice it like this. That's brilliant. And it? it's a little bit more manageable. It looks a little bit more it's kind of controlled. It's so much better. It's and then a much better way. You can just fan it out and it looks... Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Can you just come to my house and cook Christmas Day? Oh, well, you, you, you come to mine. Do you if enjoy you want. Christmas Day because you have to cook? Oh, it's sort of a. I love it. Yeah. And do you know what? I think I love Boxing Day even more 
but um, I do, I do love it. Cook. And, and, you, and you're all welcome. We've got potatoes here. Look, let's just jump in front. Um, of the actually, whilst you're around there, um, Lisa says, "What's the best way to cook parsnips?" Um, okay, my my favourite thing to do with parsnips is parboil them for five minutes. A little trick that I've only recently learned, but you keep learning through life, is um, don't peel them. The skin of celeriac really? and parsnips and even carrots, the flavour is in the skin, right? So parboil it, right, cut them in half, and then it loves things like olive oil, vinegar and bay. Oh, my Lord. There Salt they are, and, and that's what they look like. And they're so skin good. I mean, that looks like a the load of roast potatoes. Just, oh, it works what so well. your roasties? These roast potatoes, stunning. we parboil those for 12 minutes. Maris Pipers, uh, keep them big. Uh, the parboiling guarantees the fluff that we want. We want that fluff. Yeah. Uh, Have you squash these down a bit? Yes. When they're lightly golden in the oven, then what we do is we lightly squash them to give them more surface area, and they go incredible. You could use the, the fat from the turkey. Mm -hmm. You can use butter. Um, and really, the ultimate, so good. Oh, the ultimate roast potato is such a joy. Thing. Can I have a little taste? Mm. Oh my gosh, talking. absolutely. Jamie, you're a legend. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah.